we are live now. So this is ETF to Well Nations Cup number six, the sixth edition, powered by a Manco store. Live here on Critscast. I'm CJ, joined by Buck and V Hooft on the production. This is the week two game between Portugal and Denmark on CP Steel. And Portugal coming into this knowing they have to get points. They have to get on the winning side of this match. Otherwise, they will not qualify for the next round. Denmark knowing they need to get some decent points to make sure they get that top spot away from Scotland of all teams. Buck, Denmark on the red. What do you expect to see out of Portugal on this offense? I mean, typically it's like, you know, trying to get the people out of the top area. I mean, you got like Divi to be sort of comfortably sitting up here, taking the heels. you got Tobbs as well. They were doing similar to what um, Scrambled and Bees were doing with Scotland before, kind of just having the soldier and the heavy on the sort of one staircase. And once you clear that out, you've got some space. But you know, it always depends on this sniper through this window and down this corridor. It's always quite deadly. I'm just wondering whether Potato's going to know about the sightlines on this map. Hmm. I mean, actually, uh, actually uh, maybe. I mean, depends how much he's played it in pubs and stuff, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> or I mean, that's something, something you normally see with with players. Like, no disrespect to anybody, as Potato does go down there to Biohazard. That's the first pick of the game. I mean, he's obviously looking through the window there. just was a case of a sniper v sniper. But it does, does make it interesting, you know, whether these players who predominantly play sixes are going to be prepared for the quick rotations that Steel requires. And you see Toast and Thalash and Tobbs there on the A side. They're watching and you can see the, the call has been made. Portugal are pushing through A. They have their heels there. They have Lil' Cute with a sentry being carried. The Lash has gone down to uh, to the soldier there. And it does look like Denmark are getting ready to rotate. And they're just holding this BC connector, which is pretty much the standard hold there as Toast gets a headshot onto Lil' Cute, taking down the sentry as well. Who says the Ambi was nerfed? Yeah, so there's some sort of rotation coming in there. I mean, they kind of go drop down. They managed to get the sentry here, but um, going to be Uber's exchange. You've got sort of Tobbs looking for a bit of a jump in, but I mean, Portugal's kind of been a bit hesitant here, not really wanting to overcommit. And uh, sort of smart players right now for Denmark just to kind of kite this out. Divi just absolutely slaying on that connector there towards B. Survives, takes down a bunch of people, including the medic. It was just this fast rotation coming in from Portugal, trying to get in onto the B point through the uh, through kind of just the other side, rather than going through to AE. One flower has gone down in the meantime. I'm not sure how that happened, um, but it does mean that Cohen, despite dying in that kind of slaughter, to Divi earlier on is going to have about a 30% advantage and I do think they're going to be continuing to try for an AE push here Buck. They, they're getting players, they're getting bodies in the E connector. See typically the strat if they go drop down there is they want to try and, oh that's a good pick actually buy onto the demo but typically the strat is you want to try and bait the enemy defensive team to kind of move the Sinju gun into this main connect area and then get on the point and then possibly rotate but they haven't really seemed to do that. I mean you've got the Pyrus in his then. Just sitting with heels, waiting for these air blasts to come in to try and push people into the pit. But I mean, with this pressure from Dimity and Falash and the shutter, it's like Cohen's just kind of sitting in. You don't have to use in a second. Yeah, I mean, it gets into a situation where you can only hold there for so long before the pressure mounts. And you see, players are dying here. Three down for Portugal as well. And they've backed up. They're giving up E. They know they don't have the number of players they need to hold it on. And because of those picks there, One Flower is going to be able to get an Uber charge. And it's going to equal things out here. And just for everyone who, who's maybe not totally aware of how Steel is played, you can capture the E point at any point during the game. As we do see the drop down push coming in. Dr. Phil is very far forward, but nice Uber there onto him. Does keep him alive. Really important flash there. 4 HP is trying to go for the sentry, but the stab, oh, the stab comes in from the spy onto Freaky. Uh, but the cleanup is all going in Denmark's favor. 15 seconds for Freaky. But yeah, I mean, you can capture E-point at any time, but the more points you have captured as the attacking team, the more doorways open for you, the more better things happen. So Potato getting a couple of snipes there. Um, and Denmark looking fairly comfortable at the moment, but... Yeah, I think the main thing they need to try and do is like before these Ubers come up again is just try and like get a full push in into B. I mean you have to remember that like obviously well with the more points cap amplifies the effect, but the defense respawn times are like huge. So if any picks you get from the offense side is like pretty advantageous, uh, especially if you get like a sniper or a med, as the med's not gonna be up for quite a while, but yeah, they need to start clearing out this top area, I think. Just clump up a bit more. That top area is really important. Look at Tobbs. Tobbs is there. Oh yeah, he's, he's still fragging. He's still trying to. Yeah, like they were struggling to like spam him out. They just kind of over, mm. like actually commit to the place. But when I mean, you're seeing this sort of flank play still here, NG's with this level three got a little cute sort of just in this uh, white room area, and they need to kind of just focus on getting one point rather than trying to attack two. I feel. 
Yeah, I mean, it's really interesting that Tobbs was is on B when, you know, normally you'd expect a soldier to be on sort of the A side, but it looks like they just want to hard defense this as they can see the heels through that window there. They are actually on B, but there is a bit of a flank thing going on on the E point. Toast is at the E spawn trying to help defend it with, uh, with the lash from the spawn. And Divi's just rotating through the spawn as well. So at the moment they have everything covered. And at the moment I just I just feel like Dr. Phil on a four kill streak right now. They are just winning these small DM battles throughout the map. And I do think Portugal need to get a pick and then sort of rotate based on that pick. Because at the moment they're just trying to crash into them head on and it's not working out. Whoa! Potato, point blank headshot onto spans. Oof. And yeah, Denmark just they look really relaxed. Yeah, see, the one risk really with going through E and the, like not committing too much to it is the fact that you can just get these rotations through the spawn. I mean, literally B and E are just connected through this one sort of upper spawn area. And not only that, you've got a closet right next to the shutter. So if you're playing heavy or demo or something, you can just like stay in there constantly. But I mean, there's a lot of pressure coming into B now. But, you know, again, Sentry staying up for Freaky and some really haven't much answers for what Denmark's doing. Yeah, 4 HP comes in from behind there nope. with the soldier and manages to get the force. So they've got a force now, that's something to work with and that's really important. And Fux there is actually up there trying to land some rock, um, pipe, sorry, um, does go down because of it. However, Freaky gets the Wrangler onto his sentry just in time, keeping it alive. So now Portugal have this Uber, they're coming in from behind. They're Ubering the Heavy, 31's getting the Uber, he's trying to focus this sentry. It should go down here, it takes a long time though. and. Portugal will cut in no man's land. Oh the Lash God. is going to clean up Span Zen, takes Fox? down the medic. <laughs> Fox comes in with a YOLO bomb though at the end of that, and he managed to get the med, so whether they want to push off that in the end, we'll have to wait and see. But Kaling's still in here trying to fight Freaky, Freaky trying to like pressure with the rescue range, he gets picked up by third one. Third one's actually still alive, I didn't see that. Uh, he's still in this main connector, this might have distracted Denmark long enough. Well, the Toast comes in with the frag, so yeah, they have to just reset this, but they do have the better spawns. Yeah, of course, as an attacking team on Steel, you have the faster spawns. So once you've captured the, the C point, if you capture B and C, um, which remains to be seen if Portugal are going to be able to do that in this round, um, you basically get instant spawns while the defending team gets about 25 seconds. So it's very important to kind of make use of those faster spawns and get something done. But it does seem like Portugal want to really push with this AE push here. Um, coming in through, but Fux gets dropped. And 31 punches then with the fists of steel. <laughs> Is it not even the fists of steel, just the regular fists there, I think? Well, Looks, uh, kind of true kind of chat of a heavy. Chat of a heavy, just, just using default, you know? Maybe doesn't even have the fists of steel. <laughs> yeah, might have, might have to trial them from the store. But uh, yeah, lots of pressure coming in here from this A side. But the weird thing is, I'm not sure what the decision was to actually try and do this. Because the thing is, they cleared out B, they got mm. rid of the sentry, Freaky wasn't built up just yet. A 4HP even called it as well because he peeked it and saw that no one was in there. And then they have to rotate all the way around. And I feel like they're just not really wanting to get this B point for some reason. Like, despite it being really important because it changes the, the defense spawns. Uh, and now they're kind of back to square one again. And it's even Ubers, so we'll have to see how this kind of turns out. Yeah, I mean, I totally agree with you there. 31 gets taken down by Potato. Dr. Phil is on a 7 kill streak right now. Oh, Uber is going to be used by Cohen. It's not going to be a great Uber. They're flashing, and Denmark use it much later. One flower has the battery before HP is going to get dropped there, and they're going to try to go for the chase. They have to try to defend E here, but the most important thing is when you don't have the B or the C points, it's very hard to capture the E point because there's only certain classes who can make it across to that point. The bridges yep. don't extend until you've captured C. So at the moment, sending the scout spans, he's doing his best to try and get some time on the point, but he can't really be helped by many people. They have Lil Cute's got a level three set up, and Biohazard is in the window. So great stab there by uh, Robo, who uh, takes down one flower and maybe. Cool. This is actually going to turn into something good for Portugal. Okay, Fox is doing a smart thing there. You see what he was doing? He was kind of like kiting it back into the like the further back bit of main connector, spamming it out, and it's hard for the defensive team to counter that. They start the point now. Even 4HP has managed to jump onto the point. Current turn going quite weak. Uh, Thayne was doing quite a good job of like trying to uh, keep them back here. Gives a sandwich to his med. They're only four up right now. They get a lot of caps on. They might actually do this. Wow, eight minutes 30. But, I mean, they got there eventually, and it might have saved them having to do all the A to E push, but... Um, Possibly not the ideal push they were looking for into either. I mean, I totally agree with what you're saying, like, that why they didn't push into B when Denmark had basically said, okay, they have ad, we don't have players, our respawns are bad, let's back it up. 
Yeah. So Denmark were backing up, and then Portugal are like, let's not take the free point. Let's not take B, which is on a plate. Let's go around and take another fight. And because of that time it took to do the rotation through A into E, it meant that one flower got the, uh, the Uber advantage. And that Uber was not very good. That Uber from Portugal was not very good. It basically just forced Denmark into uh, into further into the B point, which I guess just gave them time to get themselves set up. And once they were set up, Fox and um, and thirty one actually combined to great effect there and just slaughtered them in that uh, in that BC connector. So A thirty four, not the best of times, not the best of times when you're attacking on steel. Mm. I would say six minutes. It's probably something it's, you'll be aiming for. I'd just like to point out, actually, just very quickly, Colleen has got this... He's hiding sort of in the health pack room, and his original was sticking through the wall. No one actually noticed it, so that's kind of interesting. I'm going to try and take on Thalas, but we'll go down for troubles, but... Yeah, like like you were saying, like, 8th day 4, I mean, not the greatest of times, but, you know, not impossible. Um, mm -hmm. It's like, like I was saying before, like, talking with X-Tine, it's like, you know, 5 or 6 minutes is usually, like, decently fast. Anything above, like, 7 or 8 is getting a bit off. Um, but, you know, we'll have to sort of see if they can defend this. I mean, if they know, like, if they're going to go for, like, an E-push, then they might be able to sort of rotate through the spawns and they need to, like, try and mirror what Denmark are doing, really. I think on, on Steel, it's often very easy to, well, not easy to defend, it's easier to defend. Um, and when you're trying to break down those holds, it can be a lot more difficult. So, I mean, you can prove your point on the defense, but it's all about the offense where you really show your credentials. Um, but Tobbs there gets the kill onto 31. So that heavy is no longer on the B point. Maybe easier to get some spam in, take some space. It does look like Denmark aren't going to go for an AE thing here. Nice reflex there by Zen to get some damage onto the sentry. But Denmark definitely looking one. They would go for an exchange or something here on B. Yeah, so I just want to get in some pressure. I mean, they're going to have to be using it in a second because there's a lot of pressure coming in from the top. Cohen still hasn't used. Simon Peaks in here. <gasps> Gets the drop. I just saw that in the other game with Scotland as well because uh, oh, I forgot who the sniper was, but he managed to get the drop like that in the exact same situation. Um, Medics need to just be careful of that after so much pressure coming in here, but that's going to give a massive advantage for Denmark to get in this B point for free. Yeah, they could have actually done it without using an Uber, but well, people yeah. seem to be unaware of spans. Spans was just chilling and managed to land a perfect meat shot onto uh, onto one flower who, well, reacts very quickly to be able to get uh, get that Uber popped off. So it does stay alive. But Denmark here with the B point pretty quickly. You know, we're talking less than two minutes here, um, and this is where it starts to get a little bit easier. And Biohazard going down to the lash there. That's so important. No sniper on the C point gives Denmark so much room on the cliff, and they're going to get some time down on E. Just kind of get those simultaneous camps going down just to spread the defenses of Portugal. Yeah, managed to get, like, they've got the mini set up here, they've got the scout on the point. Uh, Fox is, I'm just trying to spam it out, but Thalas is going to be sitting pretty on this point. Um, they got to try and rotate here, I think, as uh, Portugal's trying to look to go towards the D point. They haven't really got... I can't even see them mid, actually. No, they're okay, they're all on D now, but... I mean, they managed to get the sniper pick, but... Uh, I don't know, kind of just very tippy toe play right now for both teams. Yeah, it's, it's tentative, isn't it? I mean... Portugal still are in a decent position to get stuff done. It's basically equal Ubers now. Cohen is going to catch up. Um, Portugal have basically been baited to head towards the D point in order yep. to try and defend E. And now Denmark are going, yoink, thank you very much. We're just going to rotate around a free key. That's just so drops awesome. down and just meat shots fucks to death. Two shotgun shots to the face. Takes down the, the demo and that's so important. Ten seconds, Fox is not available here. And that's going to mean, oh, and potato. Just get another drop him to Cohen. Like Cohen? I didn't see that either, actually. He's on D. Potato is just doing his own thing. He's just roaming around and just goes in and goes, oh, you know what, there's the medic. I'm just going to headshot him. And Cohen goes down again, and it's going to be really difficult for Portugal to regroup here. Fux is up, but the Uber is going to be used by Denmark on D. And I think there's nothing they can do to stop this D point coming down. It's going to be all about the E point right now. Yeah, I mean, notice what Denmark's doing here. They're all clumping off. Like, this is really how steel should be played. Like, especially when you have Uber advantages, because there's pretty much nothing the defense team can do other than just, like, stacking to try and get a force. But, I mean, they're past that point at, that, at this uh, moment in time. But, yeah, like you said, with uh, the sniper getting that kill onto Cohen, this is going to be a massive advantage for Denmark once again. And, like, I think it's a testament as to the teams just not checking the chokes properly and just making sure that they're not locking out the points properly and uh, yeah, just kind of trying to build up a century and making it to now with 31 trying to kill the demo, but uh, Captain is going down slowly on here. Captain is going down slowly, but very slowly. Dr. Phil does go down there. He's going to be respawning fairly quickly, um, but Denmark still 
Still with stuff to do. I mean, looking at the Ubers, one flower has 100%, but it's been so long since they've had an exchange. Cohen is catching up again, um, is at 100%. So at the moment, Portugal aren't in a bad place. They're not in the best place they want to be. They re ideally want to be towards the east side where, you know, the soldier, Fox, and Biohazard are right now. Um, but they have a sentry watching the point which has just gone down but they have their combo so they can still fight this they can still fight this bug but Denmark really are the one calling the shots and they've used the uber here and they're trying to clear out the D point and yeah I mean Portugal are losing players on the flank that's the only reason they're losing this right now oh god but they've got the dreaded heavy in heaven when oh D's cut so this is going to be hard for them to get Divi out of this position now and uh, oh, them losing no. 31. oh no Cohen drops down into the pit getting pushed down another exclamation mark pit in chat there we go but uh, yeah, going to be a lot of E-cap time now. I've got the heels on the point. Divi's going to easily clean up those frags coming in. And there's only three up right now for Portugal. So unless they just throw themselves on here, I don't think this is going to happen. No, I think, uh, well, another 10 seconds to get some of their respawns up. Time seven on the point. They just need to spam these choke points. Divi, like you said, is in heaven, just watching that area. And the cap will go down with over three minutes left on the clock. Um, Denmark capping it in about five minutes, about five minutes there, so um, closer to what you would expect a, a decent time to be on this map and showing that, yeah, okay, they may have a bunch of Sixes players on their roster, but they know exactly what they're doing. They know what they're doing, and I feel Portugal really, I don't want to use the word let themselves down. I think that's a little bit too harsh, but there was a moment there they worked so hard multiple times to get their Ubers back into play, mm -hmm. and they had a moment where, okay, so they, they'd lost four points, but holding the E point can actually work really well as long as you're really strict and regimented with what you've got to do. You know, nobody feeds. And they had an Uber and they were in the BC connector. They had their combo waiting there and it just seemed like their flank fed. Like, I don't know really what happened. They lost people left, right and center. And the only person left alive was Cohen kind of trying to solo Uber someone out of BC and getting pushed into the pit. So in that respect, maybe they just need to be a little bit more careful with their lives on the defense. Yeah, especially for defense, I will say one thing for the flank. Um, it's very underestimated how important it is just to have like intelligence on like where everything is and what's going on. Because sometimes if your flank dies, right, on defense, say the cap C, that's like what, 20 seconds? So that's 20 seconds where your scout, your soldier and your spy aren't able to comm if they're setting up a level 3 in E, aren't able to comm if their sniper's in window, uh, aren't able to comm if they're like hiding on D waiting for you to kind of drop down, or like got any sort of traps there if they're demo roaming, like there's a lot of different things, or like if the soldier's in heaven, that's another big one, if the soldier's in heaven and spamming out your NG so he's not able to build on the E, that's also a massive issue, so there's these little things that add up and uh, eventually it just ends up with kind of like minor wins and then they're able to like clump up towards the end, get the Ubers going and it just goes from one point to another to another. I'm just taking a quick peek at the logs while, you know, this is going to be dead time, essentially. Um, Portugal in the defense, but they're not going to defend A, and Denmark are going to go for it for free. Top fragging was actually Potato and Biohazard. Both snipers going 15 frags apiece. Uh, Divi, Toast, Tobbs, and Dr. Phil all following, so uh, five of the top six are all from Denmark. And Toasting 20 headshots in 16 minutes. So, you know, Ambi's not dead, people. Ambi, Ambi is not dead, apparently. Um, but yeah, I mean, it does look very one-sided towards the Danish side there. Um, but I mean, Portugal, now on the defense first, sometimes people like to have a time to target for when they attack. So maybe this will suit their uh, their play style slightly more. We'll have to see what happens here. But uh, Spans with the cleaver kill onto Freaky on the flank there. And um, they really just stunted Denmark there, three players down. Yeah, he's trying to get some pressure on B right now. Bio gets the best of uh, Potato there as he tries to go for the drop down shot onto the mid. Cohen not getting dropped this time just yet. But uh, going to get a lot of spam from uh, Fox in this little main area. Phil going to be taking the Uber. Nice shot from Potato onto Fox there. Actually takes down the demo. No demo in this point. is going to be risky for Portugal to stay in here because it's very hard to keep them out with uh, that lack of area denial. And with the sentry uh, going down actually post, mm -hmm. pressuring him from behind is uh, a lot of pressure. Yeah, I mean, that was just really well executed, really well timed. As this is going to be a slaughter, this is going to be a clean up now coming in from Denmark. What happened there? This Uber exchange came in, Toast comes in, backstabs Biohazard, so the sniper is down, saps the sentry, and then Dr. Phil shoots stickies at the sentry just at the time it got sapped. So the sentry and the sniper are totally out of the picture, and then Toast headshots a little cute, so there's no NG to rebuild quickly onto C. And now Portugal slightly behind in the Uber states, but they just have to be careful here. They can still get some sort of defense on C, but it'd be interesting to see if Denmark want to do the same thing they did before, where they pressured E, 
and forced Portugal to rotate. And we'll see if Portugal are going to fall for that bait again. They're holding in a BC connector here, but really close. Yeah, see, this is the thing now. So if if you're holding this connector area, you need to be prepared to kite forward, which is not what they're not doing. They're just taking the damage on Cliff. So if they're smart now, what they do is they take the river and go forward. But Divi's coming in with the plays and Zen as well. And they get absolutely collapsed in his main connector. I just I don't think there was any calls from Portugal as to what they wanted to do. They're like they just sort of sat there and let themselves get sandwiched. Just the two up. I don't know what to say there. <laughs> just speechless CJ, speechless from that flank play. It was just too good. It was... It's hard, it's hard to watch. That's hard to watch. I mean, Denmark obviously just doing things just kind of <laughs> on Clini the point. Clinically, I think clinically, is the word. Yeah. <laughs> clinically, yeah. just... Den Portugal didn't do anything wrong there, per se. They they were kind of equal ubers. They weren't in a bad position. But Denmark just timing things perfectly and all going in. We do see here a banner actually coming in here. It is going to be a battalion's... But that means that the rest of the team are going to take less damage. Those who are going to be involved in the Uber taking no damage. And they're just killing people all over the place here. Biohazard and Spans have both gone down. So has Colin the Soldier. And it's going to be difficult here. Time 7 on the D point. They're also tickling the E point a little bit here. Freaky. Oh no, Freaky! The bridge oh, wasn't extended yet. He just falls in the little gap. The bridge wasn't all the way. He doesn't think anyone saw. No one says anything in chat. But Freaky, I saw. I saw it all. You dropped while holding your sentry. But I think this may be the round, Buck. I think Denmark, they, they're just locking things. The tops of Dr. Phil, they're just locking down this connector. He becomes in, though. I mean, it's not going to be finding anything, though, because it's, it's only on 31. He's not going to be able to, like, chase these kills all the way. I mean, look how many people are up in heaven right now. they got the heals there, the heavy there, demo there, sniper there. Sniper gets Colleen, so no soldiers to try and jump onto the point. Bio's trying to peek through the D sightline to kill the sniper, but uh, just actually find him, so I won't play by him, but... Like, there's so many frags that need to come out for Portugal to do anything here, but it's interesting because they're not getting any cap time right now. I don't know if this is actual purposeful BM, but there they, there they go, they're getting on it now, but Uber comes out. I think it's more you've got to clean things up and then reset. There's no point yeah, in doing suppose. like one or two people, oh, let's try and kill people, and then if they die, then it Ooh. just becomes a bit of a slaughter. So there you go. The combination of the soldier and the demo coming in and actually buying more <laughs> time we? here. <laughs> Diffy just eating his sandwich on the point! He can't hurt him anymore. <laughs> he lives and he just lives. He Absolute put the fist tank. of steel as well. If he gets a kill now, that would just be the perfect redemption. Oh! No. Oh, Freaky gets punished. a fist kill though onto uh, 31 just using that gunslinger. And actually, this is all precious time. Portugal are gaining here. They should be able to get it now. Flash onto the point. And only gets juggled away. Denmark throwing some bodies now onto the point. It should be it. 437, but that could easily have been closer to 4... I was going to say 4 o'clock there. <laughs> um, four, four minutes, Buck. I mean, Portugal buying time there, just with the kind of uh, well-timed spam and, and coordination, just blocking the point for those extra few seconds. Yeah, it was interesting because like they kind of brought their players up into heaven, and then I don't know whether they knew Portugal had that and they were just coming in with a heavy, but they kind of sat up in heaven, didn't have cap time for a solid like 20 seconds while they were healing up, but then no one stayed to like make sure they didn't come out of D, even though they had the D cap. Um, so then the, the demo just comes in and uh, gets some spam, but fortunately they managed to get it out in the end. This could be a very, very quick time of four and a half minutes. I've, I've seen faster, but uh, yeah, Dr. still Phil. quite risky. Dr. Phil, or Dr. Pill, as you called him, Buck, mm. he's using the Dr. Sticks. Anyway, oh, one nice. flower went crits, and uh, they've put some stickies on this uh, this connector here, which can be very, very destructive. I remember I had a scrim against Fela once, and uh, Eames did that. He put all the stickies there, crit stickies, and Toast just stayed there, and he called when went to, to use it, and he took down seven players and the sentry that the engineer was carrying, as well as uh, the medic dropping Uber to one <laughs> sticky trap. So that Chris trap right. can be uh, can be very strong, and we know Portugal like to go for that AE push. So I'm just saying, keep your eyes peeled on that one. Yeah, there's always got these. There's a, the thing is with this map, there's a lot of uh, places you can put sticks. Like, like when you're walking through main connector, especially like if I'm ever leading the charge is heavy, and I'm just trying to fist the steel through. Like when I know they're already out, I'm just having to constantly call. Oh yeah, no sticks. Oh yeah, no sticks. Oh yeah, no sticks. Because mm. there's, there's so many corners and stuff. So it's always a nightmare to deal with. Mm, there's a lot of people on A, but. Oh god, this is uh, a recipe for disaster, as we'll call Toast it. is watching, I told you, this is the Oh strap. god. Oh, they've bumped through! They know! Did Spans call it? I don't think so. Uh, I'm waiting for this fast. It's like They're taking one with Spans. Ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> no, one's called it! No, they one's called it! They one's called it! No! Oh! Oh, oh the only one gets one. <laughs> what the hell? 
Okay. <laughs> 31 punching a crit sticky. That was brilliant. Um, they do get fucks though. That's going to really slow down any kind of push they want to go for E here. Demo is so important on this map to lock things down. But Cohen with the brain not walking through till the crits was cleared. Um, they are trying to take control of D here. They're just spreading themselves out. And this is the thing. They've got three minutes now. And they have to be careful they don't waste too much time going here. Because otherwise... If you end up in a situation where you have to go for E, it's pretty bad. And Cohen here is going to get forced. He's just surrounded by players, and the rest of his team are just bleeding by the wayside. Cohen's going to try and regroup with somebody. It's just 4 HP on D right now. And what is going on? It's, they just all look a little bit lost at the moment. I mean, Cohen's on D, but I'm not sure what Portugal can do right now because they haven't got anyone on the, on the E point, and they have a sentry set up, but... Denmark are oh. quite happy to let them let them do this. I think Thalas gets the best of the med though. It legit took me like a solid 30 seconds to actually try and find anyone like sort of combo worthy on Portugal's then because like everyone was spread out. But then I mean the Danish combo is just sort of sitting here in his main connector still with Divi with 100% on Cohen and uh, I mean essentially set up like you said Cohen taking the telly actually <laughs> to help out his NG but um more spam coming in to try and kill the sentry, and no cap time going down either. There was a bit of a bait cap before from the spy on B, but uh, yeah, it's not really sort of coming to anything right now. Yeah, they need to get bodies on the point um, to start this cap. Toast is just annoying uh, Cohen and Lil Cute from the spawn here, combining with the lash. But the, the lash is going to go down. The Uber is used as well. Dr. Phil is going to try and get some damage down to clear that sentry, but the angle just does not suit. Um, but Denmark are just happy at the moment. They can they can use their combo from BC, block the point, and they can just chill. And then Freaky's actually putting a sentry on the E kind of spawn. Uh, but Freaky's gone down. And Potato's also dead. So Biohazard actually picking up a couple of snipes here. Getting some time on the point. This could be doable. Portugal have to make this Uber count back. See, the problem is, right, when you've got, like, the strategy of, like, okay, yeah, we're going to take it E, but the thing is, if you've got the whole combo to sit in a main connector and the demo especially with the sticks, able to just spam the point and he's got a decent supply of ammo near him, then there's nothing you can really do, because, like, he's just going to spam off your scout or whoever's covering the point. I'm going to drop the one flower. Doesn't have me uh, Uber yet, actually. Might get caught out. Ooh, just about forces. They were doing a good job of actually trying to make the panic there, but uh, going to try and get caught out by Thalash as he gets the most of this Uber. Going to be point blanking 31. I don't know why he doesn't just like fist to steal this damage, but actually manages to kill him with the help of Cohen healing him. But uh, yeah, just need a lot more caps on this. Divi tries to peek it as well and manages to get a load of frags. So yeah, not looking great. That's the problem. You have the BC connector as well as this spawn which is yep. you know, open as long as you have control of the B point so Denmark can poke out these two areas there it looks really good for them and then Divi just pops out the spawn door and goes hi and takes down a bunch of people toast with a headshot onto uh, is it Colleen? 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 Co Colleen? I don't know Colleen yeah <laughs> yeah Colleen um, the soldier going down there which is one of the few classes you get onto the E point buck so it's really difficult look at Freaky he's got a mini sentry on like sewer or toilet whatever you call it um and that blocks people from getting onto the point as well. So 4 HP gets on it, but he's just going to get peppered with bullets. Yeah, freaking playing is quite smart, actually, kind of just making sure that there's like another place that forces them to look at. Because um, he's you know, not much luck trying to get into this heaven area. But I mean, some picks coming in. Uh, Denmark's favourite once again. As uh, you know, all that time's been for nothing. But yeah, it could be zero seconds, and that's a uh, that's a GG right there. So Denmark pff, taking that pretty decisively, I'd say. Hmm. Span's got a bull kill onto Freaky. Uh, that's, the, that's the important thing, though. So yeah, yeah. Portugal have the moral high ground, obviously. So next time you see Freaky, you say, "I saw you fall into the pit when the bridge wasn't extended, and I saw saw spans uh, kill you with balls in your face." Those are the two things to remember from this stream, I believe. Big Denmark definitely coming away very happy from this. I think. Um, I would say, looking at Steel, they would have been not nervous, but this would have been probably the least confident they would be. Um, amongst the maps on on show because it does involve a lot of rotations it does have that kind of uh i suppose it's the most highlander map it is <laughs> you know mm. and maybe the the sixes gamers on their side may have struggled a, a little bit with the, the the rotations but everyone stepped up to the plate and they did look very strong and portugal is not sort of a weak team this is a very strong group i would say and portugal i think now because of that result denmark will be on 12 points top of the table scotland in second with 10 fortunately means portugal can no longer qualify for the playoffs so their game against um 
Uh, Scotland. No, they lost Scotland. Who's the other team in the group? Italy. Um, Italy as well can't qualify. So it's basically a dead rubber between those two. It'll just be the pride of finishing in third place um, for that group three game. Um, and yeah, Denmark against Scotland will decide who finishes.